cross product. Uh, cross product uh, is all is also called vector product because its result is a vector. Uh, that's di that's different with dot product. The dot product, the result of dot product is a scalar, and the cross product of two vectors is defined as the first is the length of prod cross product because it's uh, uh, it's cross uh, it's uh, uh, it's a vector, so it has length and direction. The length of cross product is the length of a times the length of b, and then times the sine theta. The second. The direction of cross product uh, should be uh, right hand rule and uh, perpendicular to both of these two vectors A cross B perpendicular to A and B and these three vectors form a right hand rule. That is, we uh, point our fingers to the di positive direction of the first vector and curve to the second vector, no less, no, no bigger than pi. And our sum is point to the positive direction of the third one. That's the right hand rule. The easy examples that is like i cross j is k and uh, j cross i is negative k by the right hand rule and uh, j cross k that is i and uh, k cross i is j. Use the right hand rule. And uh, by the definition, we have some laws of cross product. The first is b cross a is negative is negative a cross b. By the right hand rule. The second is a the distributional. A plus b cross c. That is a cross c plus b cross c. The third one is uh, uh, scalar multiplication. Lambda a cross b a cross lambda times a cross b. Uh, it, all, uh, it also equals a cross lambda b. The last one is a cross a is zero because theta is, theta is zero. That's the laws of cross, cross product. Okay. And in, co in coordinates, if A equals A1, A2, A3, and B equals B1, B2, B3, then A cross B is A2, B3 minus A3, B2, 
i plus a three b one minus a one b three j plus a one b two minus a two b one k. Uh, we write uh, for simplicity. We write uh, this expression as a determinant. That is i j k. That is a one a two a three b one b two b three. Write as a uh, three of uh, the uh, third order determinant. This for the simplicity. We review some uh, some concept of determinant. We define the determinant of order two that is a b c d as a d minus b c for the second order determinant. If A is 3 by 3, or the order of 3 determinant, that is A11, A12, the, the, first, the first letter indicates the, the location of the row. This is the, fir the first row, so that is A1, A11, A12. The second number uh, indicates the location the location of the column <coughs> as a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33. That a equals a11 times negative 1 plus 1. That is a22, a23, a32. Uh, a three three. Uh, maybe we can write as uh, the original is a one one, a one two, a one three. That a two one, a two two, a two three, a three one, a three two, a three three. Uh, we take the a one one out 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 and. Uh, uh, times negative one, the uh, located uh, the, the the row index, row index, and uh, plus the column index, and times the uh, result times the uh, we call the adjacent of this of uh, of this uh, of a one one. What is the adjacent? We cross. We cross, cross the the row and the column of A one one located. The the remaining the remaining the, the, and the remaining uh, determinant and A. 1, 2, that is negative 1, 1 plus 2. So cro cross the length, uh, the row and the column it located. We delete the row and the column which A12 located and plus and plus A13 that negative one one plus three. 
that's a one one a one two a one three a two one a two two a two three a three one a three two a three three and uh, we delete the row and column the a one two a a one three located that is a cos a one one as a two two a two three a three two a three three uh, minus a one two as a two one a two three a three one a three three Man, uh, plus a one three that is a two one a two two a three one a three two that's the definition of a uh, determinant of three order of order three so a cross b that is i j k that's a1, a2, a3, that's b1, b2, b3, that is a2, a3, b2, b3, times i minus a1, a3, b1, b3, j plus a1, a2, b1, b2, times k. That is a2, b3, minus a3, b2, i, minus a1, b3, minus a3, b1, that's j. That's plus a one b two minus a two b one. That's k. That's the determinant. Actually, we can prove the, the uh, formula for co uh, in coordinates. A cross B, that is A1 I plus A2 J plus A3 K cross B1 I plus B2 J plus B3 K. We use the di distributional that is a one i cross b one i plus b two j plus b three k plus a two j cross b one i plus b two j plus b three k and plus a three k that's cross uh, b one i plus b two j plus b three b three k that is uh, use distribution or again we got a i cross i is zero <laughs> so a1 b2 that's i cross j plus a1 b3 that's i cross k uh, plus a2 b2 
B1, that's J cross I, plus A2, B3, that's J cross K, plus A3, B1, K cross I, plus A3, B2, K cross J. That's A1, B2, I cross J, that is K. A1, B3, I cross K, that is uh, negative J. K cross I is, is J, I cross K is negative J. Plus A2, B1, J uh, cross I, that's, that is negative K. A2, B3, J cross K. J cross K, that is I. And A3, B1, K cross I, that is J. Uh, plus A3, B2, K cross J, that is negative I. So we uh, cl uh, collect, collect the like terms. So that is I. This is I. For I, that is A two B three minus A three B two. That is I and J. J. Uh, J is this one and this one. So for J, that is A three B one minus A one B three. That's J plus and for K. For K is this one. And this one. <coughs> and for K, that is A1, B2, minus A2, B1, K. And use the definition of the uh, determinant. That is I, J, K, that's A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. That's the, the proof of the, uh, of the formula in coordinates of cross product. Now let's take uh, uh, look for some examples. Oh, the, and before that, uh, we state our theorem, which uh, that is uh, five. There is a theorem. That is a. If a is parallel to b, if and only if a cross b equals zero. By the def definition, because the if two vectors are parallel, then it's and the angle between these two vectors are zero, so sine theta equals zero. And now we look for some examples. Find a cross b, where a equals 2, 1, negative 1, and uh, b equals 1, negative 1, 2. By the formula, 
in coordinates as a cross b that is i j k as 2 1 negative 1 as 1 negative 1 2 so that is i times 1 negative 1 negative 1 2 that uh, plus uh, minus j j is 2 negative 1 1 2 plus k k times 2 1 1 negative 1 use the, the definition of determined determinant of order 2 that's i 1 times 2 minus negative 1 times negative 1 that is 1 times 1 minus j uh, 2 times 2 minus 1 ne times negative 1 that's 2 plus 1 that's 5 plus k uh, negative 2 minus 1 that's negative 3 so that is i minus 5j minus 3k or equals 1 negative 5 negative 3 that's the a cross b so a cross b is 1 negative 5 negative 3 and another example that's 3 find a vector that's perpendicular to the plane perpendicular to the plane to the plane that pass through pass through the points Pass through three points. And P that is a one, four, six. Uh, Q that's negative two, five, negative one. And R. As one negative one one. The three point the three point uh, determine two vectors. If this is P as Q that's R. Actually it determine two point uh, the two vectors and perpendicular to this plane. And this three point determine our plane. Perpendicular to this plane, that means this vector should uh, perpendicular to both of these two vectors. Uh, it's perpendicular to these two vectors. So that means we can uh, consider the cross, cross product of these two vectors. So uh, we first we find these two vec two vectors PQ that is negative two five negative one minus one four six that is negative three one negative seven and uh, PR is 1 negative 1 1 minus 1 
four six that is zero negative five and uh, negative five and perpendicular to this plane that means this vector should be perpendicular to this uh, to both of these two vectors so we can check the cross product in with it, uh, because the cross product uh, perpendicular to both of these two vectors so PQ cross PR that is I J K that's negative 3 1 negative 7 0 negative 5 negative 5 that is I 1, negative 7, negative 5, negative 5, minus j, that's negative 3, negative 7, 0, negative 5, plus k, that's negative 3, 1, 0, negative 5, uh, negative 5, minus 35, that's negative 30 I uh, that's uh, 15 the second uh, is 15 that's negative 15 G and that's 15 K so this vector is negative 3 uh, negative 30 negative 15 and uh, 15 and we find this vector. We use a cross product to find a vector perpendicular to both of these two vectors. And the third, the last example. Uh, find the area. of the triangle with vertices vertices A that is uh, one one zero and uh, B at three zero two and C zero negative one one. If the there is so, uh, not straight enough, that's A B C. If this is three three point, we know that the the area of triangle is the length of bottom times the length of height. Actually, the length of the bottom we can know we know uh, that is the length of AB. So first we find the AB. A B is three zero two minus one one zero that is two negative one and two and the H if this is a theta and the H H actually H is A the A C the length of A C times sine theta. So the area should be the length of AB times the length of AC times sine theta. And now we know that this is the length of cross product AB. 
cross AC, the length of AB cross AC. So first we find the AB and uh, then find AC and take the cross product of area as uh, times one half. AC is uh, AC is zero negative negative one and one minus one one zero that is negative one negative two and one and then we can take the cross product and then find the length of the cross product. The cross product is I J K. That is that is two negative one two negative one negative two one. That is I times negative one two negative two one uh, minus j. That is two two negative one one plus k. That is two negative one negative one negative two. And then that is uh, negative one times negative times one negative one man, uh, plus four. That is three i. Uh, 2 plus 2 minus 4j uh, negative 4 uh, minus 1 that's negative 5k so so a b cross a uh, that's here that's one half that a c one half of this the length that's one half. Take the square root, three square plus four square plus five square. That's one half. Uh, that's square root fifty. That is uh, five square root two over two. That's the uh, area of this triangle. We we use cross product to find the area of this triangle. Actually, we can use the cross product to find the area of a pair a parallelogram. That's the cross product.